Ah yes, you have heard correctly. If you subscribe to the Inspector Mindblow channel, you get seven years of good luck. Who doesn't want that? Now most of the time when I talk about NFT games, I talk about three, five, sometimes even seven NFT games in one video. Today we're checking out Pepper Attack. It's a cool concept, it's a very new crypto game, it's still in the minting phase of its NFTs. They have 10,000 NFTs for minting and the first 10,000 NFTs will get special treatment later on in the game. Uh, yeah, interrupting this program for important news, a giveaway time! Alright, before we start, I just want to keep this transparent. I have been contacted by the team over at Pepper Attack and I have been given one of their first 10,000 NFTs that it will be able to mine inside the game later. So, rather than keeping the NFT for myself, I want to give it away to some of you guys. So, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave a comment on this video. It has to be a comment related to NFTs, just anything related to NFTs, just so I know that you want to enter the giveaway. And also, you have to be subscribed to the Inspector Mindblow channel. Throughout the week I will randomly pick a winner and send him the NFT and I will also prove it in one of the future videos where I actually send it. So Okay, back to the video. And the first 10,000 NFTs will get special treatment later on in the game. So today we're gonna take a look at their white paper, at their tokenomics, at their gameplay and everything they have to offer. If you love NFT games, if you love cryptocurrency, if you love making money, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the Inspector Mind Blow, and let's get this show started. So this is going to be their UI when you open up the game, this is what you're gonna see. So uh, right away, off the bat, I can say very impressive visuals. The, it, it just looks good, it looks inviting, it looks co colorful, and that's very important. People don't realize how important color is. You know that one of the reasons why Fortnite was so huge in the gaming industry is just because of the colors. It was shiny and people love shiny things. It is that simple, sometimes it is that simple. But onwards we go, you can see down there where it says mine, where he just clicked, uh, when he clicks on mine, he has his progress and he has uh, something to collect. So what does this mine implicate? How do you actually mine? inside a game, so I'll explain all of that, but now he goes into heroes, and as you can see there's various NFTs, uh, different heroes with different attributes, they have different health, attack, defense, uh, they have their evasive power and their critical attack, obviously all of these are different NFTs that you can sell on the marketplace, just like with any other NFT crypto game, but there is a big difference between this game and the other NFT games, and I will get to that just one step at a time guys. Do you guys remember Mir 4, this MMORPG that lets you mine inside the game? Like you see, all these people are mining. Why would they be mining? Well, they're mining for something called the Dark Steel and 100,000 of those equals one Draco coin. So there's a lot of people kind of mining inside the game, literally mining the ore. Well, Pepper Attack does something a little bit different, but also a little bit similar. If you get one of these first 10,000 NFTs, you will be able to later mine inside of their game. Now, since their game is not an MMORPG, you won't have to actually go to the ore and mine it yourself with a pickaxe. Instead of explaining in my own words, I let the team at Mystic Pepper explain. So, mining. The first 10,000 Mystic Peppers can travel to the mythical world to mine might. Might is a rare metal that can be used for various purposes, such as training, battling, trading. It is the official currency in the game. Players can use all their Mystic Peppers from, for mining. When a Mystic Pepper is mining, he will not be available for training, battling or trading. Players can choose different durations for mining. The longer a Mystic Pepper stays in the mythical world, the more might he produces. Players can claim their might production weekly, regardless of the duration. So basically, you lock in your NFT, you can't sell it, you can't train it, you can't increase its attributes, but it is mining for the might coin and it is bringing you revenue that you can uh, claim every week. So once you go to their website, they actually have like a full lore, the Pepper Saga. Gaia was the beginning of everything who called for the clouds and stars. She created the world and all living things from her own body. Gaia became the land and the ocean upon which she placed her most beautiful creations, the Peppers of Malabar. Dude, this actually sounds pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie, it sounds intriguing, I mean, I, I would definitely play it. As with all my sponsor videos, uh, they're never biased, like, I, I never accept 
sponsorship deals where I actually have to praise the game when I don't like it, for example. I want to have my freedom to just say whatever I think. Usually with NFT games, they're just so new and innovative, I can't help but be impressed. Like, it's difficult not to be impressed by a cryptocurrency game that pays you for playing. How are you not impressed? Anyway, Kana continued to guide the Peppers. She created contests for Peppers to challenge one another and granted the power to the chosen ones. The 10,000 strongest and wisest Peppers are brought to the mythical world. They're prepared by the angels for the first day of Pepper kind would need them. They're called Mystic Peppers. I want to also show you on Discord, they're actually doing contests and free NFT giveaways all the time. So we definitely recommend going over there and maybe try and win. They have a very engaging community. They share posts all the time and they're giving away free peppers like a few times a week from what I've gathered. So they, they do it all the time. Over at their Twitter page, they have over 4,000 followers. That's always a good sign, especially for new pro especially for new projects. If you go over to their OpenSea, their floor project, is 0.07 ETH and then if you wanted to mint one well apparently the gas fees are insane now what the hell is up with the gas fees on Ethereum what three thousand dollars for a mint are you kidding me that's almost one whole Ethereum get out of here no Ethereum gas fees are something else man uh, they're something else sometimes they're so high you can't even use the network but sometimes they're just normal I don't know it really depends but basically this floor price being the lowest amount someone is paying or someone is listing a pepper for sale for volume traded 35 Ethereum so that's in 1k owners that's already pretty good man that's already pretty good way better than all the other NFT projects I've already invested in without even being sponsored by them so I'm just saying so whoever wins this giveaway can probably just sell a pepper right away and earn quite a bit but I would rather keep it and later use it for mining I think that's that would be the better thing to do but anyway let's check out their tokenomics now 30% of their tokens go to the mythical world so as a reward to the people that are mining actually locking their NFTs for mining purposes then 30% we have for the pepper guild earnings from quests, events, etc. And then that same will be also used to spend on items, services, etc. inside of the game. So obviously you also get paid uh, every time you finish quests, whenever there's an event and stuff like that. I, I thought that was uh, I thought that was kind of self-explanatory because most of those games do that. If you don't do that, that's a big fail. So you have to kind of do that. You need to pay your players when they finish quests. Then we have 15% uh, for the community treasure, so that's for contests, events, and general rewards uh, for the community. And then we have 15% for the investor's treasure, that's that goes to direct sales, and 10 more percent the developer's treasure, aka the rewards for the developers. And I don't know if my quick math skills is right here, but I'm pretty sure we're missing 5%. But here we go, quick maths with the inspector, let's do it. So we got 30% plus 30% plus 15% plus 15% plus 10%. Well, nothing is missing. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, quick maths with the inspector, it's all good in the hood. So the token distribution is pretty good in my book, especially with 30% going toward the guild, um, toward actually the quests and toward the mining and it's just awesome. The whole interconnected economy within the game is great and it needs to be great in order to work because the biggest thing about games like this is not to lose its value from overselling. Now, like that's what happened to Mir 4. They, Players were just overselling their Draco coin, their native coin, and the price kept going down and it pushed players away. So you, you never want to see that, especially when the game is good, you don't want to see it. It's just a shame. But anyway, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, 900 million might will be available to be minted from the mythical world by Mystic Pepper owners. So 900 million is 30%. Look, my quick math skills are definitely not enough for this. If 900 million is 30%, how much is 100%? I'm sure there's a very quick formula to let you know, and I'm sure I can also Google it and find pretty quick, but if you guys could help me out with this, I would greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment. How many might are there? 450 million will be held in the community treasure. That might will be used for the community events, rewards, 
etc and then we have the same amount for the investors treasure and then uh, 300 million for the developers the developer treasure is locked for two years it doesn't say from when it is locked but maybe from the launch of the game maybe from the start of the work on the game either way it is locked for two years so again mining production uh, if you lock it for 30 days you get a base set of rewards if you lock it for the max which is 180 days you will get the maximum level rewards pretty much and obviously the first period of the game uh, the most rewards will be handed out as the time goes on the rewards will be less and less and also considering the price of might will probably go up during that period gaining less rewards might equal the same in dollar value but you can never know things like that you can kind of just assume things like that but either way let's see might utility in game and how their token is going to be used because that's that's one of the most important thing for the selling pressure not to get to them so might flow in game let's check this out so we have the pepper market which is in the middle okay from the pepper market it goes to the pepper guild and from the guild it goes back into the market for you can sell in-game assets i'm guessing that you get from quests and from earning various ways and then you can use those to buy back might might is supplied by the pepper guild through in-game rewards it gives it back to the player so the market go goes so from the market to the pepper guild to the in-game rewards for the players who are earning then the player sells the might for profit then the might goes back to the pepper guild back to the in-game rewards and so on but then to the left side we have the player spending so you can buy might from others uh, but you can also buy in-game items and subscriptions and then that might goes back into the pepper market into the middle pepper market and then you can also sell in-game items and also earn might so it's a it's a whole process it's a whole flow of money and an e ecosystem and depending on how good the in-game items are how good the subscriptions are how tempting everything is it'll either work out perfectly or it'll be a big fail so you can you can never know i'm really hoping that it's going to work out because the, as i said multiple times throughout this video the biggest problem with crypto games is basically this the flow of their in-game currency because if the selling pressure gets too high and people have no reason to buy or, or hold the coin the value will drop drastically and that will push the players away so you don't want to see that you definitely don't you you need use cases for the coin inside the game i need reason to buy that stuff in the game i need reason to get those subscriptions dude do you get what I mean? So I think this game checks a lot of boxes, definitely checks a lot of boxes, could be really good. It is very good to get in early for projects like this, especially. Now, if Ethereum gas fees weren't freaking through the moon, I would probably buy another one of these for me, but I only have this one that I'm going to give away. So, yeah, there's that. Hopefully someone makes money if I won't. <laughs> I, uh... Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. I'll check you next time. Peace.